Hello guys, uh, welcome to Fundamentals of Aerospace Engineering class. Today we are going to see the basic aircraft structures. Uh, this is Professor Nehru, Department of Aerospace Engineering uh, at SS Rajiv Technology. So the outline of the presentation is the, uh, uh, the aircraft components, material used in the airframe construction, example of materials used in the airframe construction, function of aircraft structures, uh, fuse uh, structure, here we are going to see the the uh, the types of fuse stars structures like truss type, monocoque, semi monocoque, and the basic structural members and wing structure, empennage structure, power plant. There we will see the wing found mount, fuse large mount, and landing air structure. So uh, this is a skeleton view of an airplane. Uh, there we have the, all the structural components like fuselage, wing, engine, empennage, all the control surfaces, structural elements, and this uh, a skeleton view help us to understand all the uh, the different parts of airplane. And here the the aircraft uh, components like fuselage, wings. Empennage or the tail section, power plant, landing gear or undercarriage. So here we have the the uh, low wing type, uh, which is attached in the fuselage, and and here we have the uh, uh, the, uh, the propeller type uh, power plant. This is a non retractable landing gear which is used this airplane. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are the, the primary and secondary control surfaces of the aircraft component, like uh, aileron, elevator, rudder. The right side of the wing we call it as starboard wing, and the left side wing we call it as port side wing. So usually to control the aircraft, we use the ailerons. If the right aileron goes up, the left aileron goes down. So this makes the aircraft to roll the aircraft in the right direction and we uh, we have uh, the violet color we call it as a flap flap will help us to increase the lift of the airplane and the fuselage large uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, attached all the the empennage part and the main wing and the engine part the tail section we have the control component like uh, as well as stabilizer we have elevator and the vertical stabilizer we have the rudder and uh, this elevator help, helps the airplane to pitch up and pitch down where the rudder help us to change the direction of the uh, airplane either in the right side or the left side <laughs> and the, this uh, landing gear mostly plays in the undercarriage of the wings or the fuse slash and this propeller type uh, uh, engine helps to produce the thrust for this airplane. So we have covered all the uh, the uh, primary control surfaces like aileron, uh, rudder and elevator. The secondary control surfaces we have the spoilers, uh, rudder vetas, trim tab. And these are the additional uh, components which is in special case if you want to uh, increase the lift or decrease the lift or spoil the lift. Uh, we will trim the, uh, the moment produced by the engine. For that time, you use these secondary control surfaces. And the parts of an aircraft and their functions, we have different parts like wing, jet engine, cockpit, fuse slot, slot, spoiler, ailerons, flaps, elevators, rudders, and a vertical stabilizer, arrival stabilizer. So coming to the horizontal stabilizer, it is used to control the pitch pitch motion. Whereas the vertical stabilizer control the yaw motion. And uh, uh, well, coming to the part of flap, it changes the lift and drag. It is increasing lift or a, a decreasing lift or increasing drag or de decreasing drag. Whereas the aileron which helps to roll a change in roll, either in the clockwise and anti clockwise rotation. Spoiler also helps to change the lift and drag and rolling motion. Slat helps to uh, leading at the slat, we have. Uh, uh, attached in the, uh, the, the nose part of the uh, wing 
it if, if it is operator slatter's operator the lift will change and fuselage which holding things together and carrying the payload um, uh, in the airplane whereas the cockpit helpers to uh, uh, transmit the communication to the ACT where we can do the command and the control the entire operation of the flight whereas engine we will we should use the jet engine which help us to generate the thrust forces and being help us to generate the lift forces uh, of the aircraft and fuselage we have the main bodies of airplane um, and uh, pilot and cargo components Generally, construction the two or more sections of the fuselage, either the the uh, code section, nose section, body section, tail section, which carries accessories and all equipments, include includes the numerous number of uh, um, access doors, inspection plates, landing wheels, and other openings are placed in the fuselage. And coming to the wing, uh, wing is made up of different type of uh, airfoils, which is uh, uh, um, aggregated by the uh, NATA, uh, the, uh, the aerofoil attached in each side of the fuselage, which is called as a wing. The, the main purpose of this wing is to uh, produce the uh, lifting force. The, the wing uh, types we have based on the sizes and shapes. Maybe uh, they are attached on the top of the uh, fuselage or middle of the fuselage or lower portion of the fuselage. It should be called as high wing, mid wing, and low wing. The number of wings can vary based on the uh, monoplane and the biplane. And coming to the empennage, known as this as a tail section, which consists of vertical stabilizer, uh, horizontal stabilizer. In vertical stabilizer, we have the control component the rudder. In horizontal stabilizer, we have the control component elevator. In the other components like we have the uh, in tip, we have the fin, and we have the access door. Uh, Interspar structural access door where we can repair the uh, structural component. Rudder we have, and the rudder is a flight tab we have to trim uh, in rudder position. We also have the trim tab at the elevator. Also, we have the, uh, the elevator flight tabs which help us to uh, balance in dynamic condition. That is a dynamic balancing boom we have in the horizontal stabilizer. Vertical stabilizer and the fuselage are attached to the fittering uh, uh, region. We also have the aerodynamic, for, for aerodynamic balancing, we have the dorsal fin, right? Uh, these are the co uh, structural components are there in the empennage. Coming to the power plant, a unit or a machine that converts chemical energy into a fuel to produce a thrust force. This thrust force is essential for moving an airplane forward and producing a lift force upward with the piston engine or the propeller engine or the jet engine uh, used to uh, produce these thrust forces with the jet engine the jet engine outputs is a thrust force uh, coming to the another uh, uh, components are there in airplane the landing gear which is located underneath of the fuselage with uh, shock struts it may be a fixed landing gear or the retractable landing gear which provides means of uh, landing taxing, tricycle model or conventional type model. The floating landing gear for seaplane and skid equipment for ice surface landing gears are also used in the special cases. So the material used in the airframe construction, the airframe material properties, we have to consider the ice strength to weight ratio. The metal should be light in weight. It should have the corrosion resistant property. It should not be uh, flammable. It should be. We should maintain the aerospace standard in high quality. So for example, the material which are used in the airfare constructions, wood materials for interiors, steel and its alloys for strong uh, strengthening region, aluminium as an alloy where we will use in the common uh, in the entire uh, the airplane, titanium alloy we use in uh, the uh, heat region like. Turbine session or the combustion region is used to uh, the heat barriers. And Magnus alloy is at three times lighter than the aluminum alloy. And plastics and composites we are using uh, in different parts. So he, here uh, the, we have learned about the different parts of uh, the airplane. 
uh, we'll see the the aerodynamics and propulsion and control components in the next class thank you